done all that I was supposed to do before filming this video, I can actually do it. My name is Sir Basplow and welcome to my this week's video. First of all, I have some good news and some bad news for you guys. Let's start with the good ones. Here is Kuromatsu-chan. She or he, it survived. At least one of the seeds survived and has finally sprouted out and become a sapling. And the bad news is that one of the cats already kinda ate the sapling. So now I'm just trying to heal this little baby and hope that it survives the, well, everything. <laughs> but super, super happy that at least there's some kind of plant coming out of this pot now. So I was actually supposed to make this video already a week ago and the main focus was going to be the new drawing display that she saw in the intro but at some point I realized that I just don't have enough interesting material and the video is gonna be super short and pretty boring in the end so I decided to skip one week and add some more to it. Also, I haven't been filming outside very much during the past couple of weeks because the weather has been god-awful during the weekends. Except today. Today it's sunny. But other than that, it's just been raining or raining wet snow or something and it's not fun. Also, it's been super windy recently and even now it is. I would love to go fly the drone, but it's gonna be difficult because it's so small. About the drawing display, as you saw in the intro, it's XP Pen Artist 13.3 Pro. I'm used to using Wacom's drawing tablets and they're good, but I wanted to get something else and a drawing display and I've been super happy with it. Can definitely recommend. Of course, it's not as precise or the screen is not as good as in like Cintiq, for example, but there is like 2000 euro price difference. So it's really good considering that. But yeah, I've been enjoying it quite a bit. I have drawn more than in, I would say years during the past week, during my spare time. And I've really liked it. it feels good. And I'm super motivated to learn more. Actually, yesterday I tried animating for the first time with it as well. And the animations you saw in the intro were the ones that I did. Just small practices. Also, want to see something super cool. In case you didn't notice, I got myself lights, as you can see from the background, and also from the foreground. I bought two of the... oh, this must be super bright. I bought two of the Aperture ALMC LEDs, around 100 euros each, and this motivates me to shoot more videos inside in the future. And also I was talking about making an Instagram account for my figure shots, so... I'm definitely gonna use these now and so far I really enjoy them. They are super useful for, for example, this kind of lighting. So yeah, super happy with them. They are incredibly handy. They have a mount for a tripod. They have magnets so I can put them on, well, metallic surfaces. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna fetch that one so you can see properly. Oh, it's probably a bit too bright. So yeah, as you can see, they're really small, a bit bigger than a credit card, maybe one and a half centimeters thick. And that's probably the biggest reason why I bought them in the first place, because I can take them with me wherever I go. For example, if my, I'm visiting my parents and some of the rooms are super dimly lit, I can use these. And these are so much better than using just the lights you have in the ceiling. They usually have a really annoying color and it's a pain in the ass to color correct afterwards. So these are gonna be super useful and I'm really happy I bought them. I've been thinking about buying them for a couple of months now and I finally did it. And they arrived in like one day, which was insane. So yeah, look forward to seeing more uh, finely lit stuff. I'm so lit now. Anyway, I'm actually gonna take some figure photos now, so why don't you take a look at this fine time-lapse, alright? Mm -hmm. 
Finally done with the figure photo shoot for the day and I can tell you it gets really hot when you're trying to do it as differently as possible, as many times as possible and as fast as possible while taking a time lapse at the same time. <sighs> but it's done and I hope the pictures turned out great. And speaking of the photos, if you would like to follow my collector Instagram account I will put the link in the description and also here's the name, uh, maybe somewhere here. But with that, I'm gonna end this video here. If you enjoyed it, please give it a little thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel and would like to see my future videos as well, subscribe and ring the bell. And yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Best flow out. Mm -hmm.